I'm Donald Hasu, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. We continue our month-long descent into the dangers of drugs with tonight's feature, Assassin of Youth. But first, it's the next episode of Zorro's Black Whip. Last time, Vic survived falling over a cliff in a carriage by... Surviving falling over a cliff in a carriage. Then the bandits followed the Black Whip back to Barbara's house and held her at gunpoint, but she stayed frosty and freed herself with sewing scissors. Vic and the Whip ended up at the bandits' hideout, where the bandits held Vic at gunpoint, demanding that the Whip remove her mask. Insert your own joke about Zorro not yet appearing in the Zorro serial here as we prepare for episode 6 of Zorro's Black Whip, Fatal Gold. Welcome back. Tonight's feature is Assassin of Youth. Cub reporter Art Brighton is sent to cover the case of Joan Barry, a young woman who's set to inherit her grandmother's fortune, but only if she remains, ahem, <clears throat> moral. However, her cousin Linda has a plan to ruin Joan's reputation with the devil weed, marijuana. That's right, another completely accurate portrayal of drug use describing how marijuana brings forth people's basest instincts and how addiction can leave someone permanently psychopathic. Wait, no. I'm sorry, I meant it's a completely accurate portrayal of how hanging out with white people can make you violent and insane. So settle in and enjoy the cringingly bad acting, and dialogue, and action, and god, it's, it's just all horrible. And it's tonight's feature, Assassin of Youth. Tonight's feature is Assassin of Youth, and if you think it's been boring so far, wait until the second half of the movie. Let's look at some of the stellar moments we've already seen. Of course, we had the outtake from Inception, where the lake was rising up behind all our characters. There was the moment David Byrne had the idea of putting a bigger suit on over his regular suit. And of course, who can forget the gossipy villain of the film riding on her scooter like the Wicked Witch of the West. Hope you like this shot, because it comes back again. And again. Also, just what is going on here? Well, get that elephant of yours working and see if you can remember that you have a date with me tonight. You mean? Just wait outside after you get finished work and see. What else is left? Where else can we go? Is there no escape from noise? Find out in the second half of Assassin of Youth. That was Assassin of Youth, showing that even in 1937, self-righteous moralizing Karens were the real threat all along. Here's a preview of our next feature. A woman trapped in a haunted house. An imposing figure. A seance gone wrong. Evidence of spirits. Intrusive temptations. Forgotten souls lost in celebration. See what happens in the German expressionist classic, The Cocaine Fiends, next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. That looks like fun, but I don't think anything can top this. <laughs> Until next time, Kamsamnida and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.